This is really exciting um, because it's early September and I've just come down to the allotment ooh, and found on this phacelia, oh, I'm in the sun, um, which is amazing for all kinds of insects, there's a new queen um, lapidarius there, that's the red tail bee, but even more exciting, oh, she keeps she keeps just being, oh, 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 look, a tree bee. So this is a queen, a newly emerged queen tree bee. Um, I've never seen one of the queens before. I think it's a queen anyway, because all of the, the tree bees, this is Bombus hypnorum, and all of the tree bees that I've seen before have been um, quite dinky. So um, the tree bee is... Um, a relatively new bee to the UK, just uh, been around for the last, I think, less than 10 years. And they're Northern European bumblebee. They don't seem to be competing, causing any problems for us. Oh, she's gone now, but I'll just stay on here just to show you how amazing this plant is for all manner of bees and hoverflies. Oh, there's a Lapidarius again. Down there. But... Um, that's, um, j anyway, so just finishing on the, the, the tree bee who has gone somewhere else. Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, this is too distracting. We've got another, can't see what she is. White tail bee, probably Leucorum, almost Leucorum. Um, but the tree bee, um, yeah, nests in, in holes and hollows in old trees and also likes, um, bird boxes, so like blue tip boxes and things like that. So uh, and a very, very distinct bee. I don't know if you were able to see properly, but um, they have uh, a very, very ginger orangey um, thorax and then a black abdomen with a white tail, it's like a tricolor. There's no other bee that looks quite like it. So I didn't expect to see that, but what I had wanted to do was just show you what Phacelia looks like for anyone who doesn't know what Phacelia is. This is one of the best plants to plant for bees of all sorts, bumblebees, honeybees. You have to plant it in great big um, patches like this if you want to attract honeybees because they're not going to bother going back and um, doing a waggle dance unless they see, see enough plants to attract a lot of the uh, other bees in the hive. I'm just going, yeah I've seen the tree bee again so here we go. This is really, really exciting. Where is she? Oh, I hope my camera's working here. Wow. <laughs> my goodness. She's enjoying this. Um, got hoverflies here as well. I can't tell if I'm pointing at her, so I want to get as much of her as possible. Oh, and here is a little carder bee, tiny little, little carder bee. That's Bombus pascorum. Um, and they're, um, they're one of the most common of our bumblebee, bumble, <laughs> bumblebees here in the UK. And if you see bees still foraging um, out in October, um, or maybe even later, they're almost always the common carder bee, the Bombus pasteurum. Seem to have a longer life cycle than most of the others. There's so many bees on here. Need to try and find a way to video things like this without it being really, really difficult for people to watch. Because it's, it's all like, um, I've watched things back like this and there. If I go too fast, I can really get your eyes. It's a honeybee. So I'm going to turn this off now and go and see if I can get some photographs of the tree bee. <laughs> 